get the feeling he's not even sure what he wants anymore. Oh, come on, Mercedes. All he wants is the head of Mercedes. The head of Edigard. Part 2. Azure Moon. Pegasus Moon. Valley of Torment. Having repelled the Imperial Vanguard, the kingdom must now supplement its meager forces. And so it requests reinforcements from Rodrig, who is busy resisting Cornelia's army in Fraldarius territory. That's fast. You made it. Hi. We received a reply from my father. You should read it too. Gilbert has filled me in on the details. He tells me you are in immediate need of additional troops. I would like to say that I will gather reinforcements and send them to the monastery at once. However, I cannot afford to leave the front lines for that long. Would you be willing to meet us south of Fraldarius territory in ALL, the Valley of Torment? ALL is halfway between the monastery and our territory. There, I will deliver the soldiers you require. The Valley of Torment? ALL lies on the border between Kingdom territory and Alliance territory. Humans dare not approach that place. He's right. In ALL, we can meet up with them without our enemy ever finding out. Once my old man delivers his soldiers to us, then our war against the Empire can finally begin. The path ahead will be a difficult one, Your Highness. Deadly, in all likelihood. <laughs> True. But what's the point in wavering now? Father, stepmother, Glenn, and even to do. I am certain this will bring them great joy. I know if I can just offer them Edelgard's head. I just know it. Hail hey, Ella, the Valley of Torment. God damn it, Gatekeeper. Gatekeeper was a spy all along. I knew I shouldn't trust that guy. Oh, wow, thanks. Hap oh, this is where we could uh, get support with Happy, sure. Oh, hey. I've been meaning to speak with you. About? I heard that you've been telling people not to worry so much about my condition. Is that a fact? Maybe. No need to be coy. Thanks for doing that. But I do have one minor concern. You said that I haven't sighed in five years? What the heck is that about? Everyone's calling me half decade happy now. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, no, not anymore because of the support with you and Balthus. First of all, terrible nickname. Second of all, you weren't even here. Did you just make that up? Uh... Maybe? Seriously? You think that's okay? That's so frustrating. I'm fighting the urge to sigh right now. I thought I was helping. Well, the nickname's bogus. I have absolutely sighed in the last five years. You wouldn't believe what a hassle it was. Monsters rampaging willy-nilly through abyss. Thanks to some help from the people underground, no one got hurt. But it was a close call. Maybe if you had been there, it wouldn't have been so much trouble. Me? Yes, you. You've got the sword of the creator. That thing can chop through monsters like nothing. Is that all? Are you fishing for compliments now? Fine, you're a good leader. You watch out for all of us. Even when the rest of the world turns and hides from me, I know you've got my back. That's true. You make me feel safe. Like I can be myself. Like I don't have to worry so much about keeping my emotions in check. I felt pretty sad all that time you were gone. I could have left Garrick Mach altogether. But then I started thinking, you might still be alive after all. So I went looking for you. Back to where you'd fallen and all. That's so... Oh. You really care about me, huh? Oh, forget I said anything. 
Look at me getting all mushy and sincere. How embarrassing. Let's just go back to earlier when I was giving you a hard time. Don't be embarrassed. Hey, I can feel embarrassed if I want to. I can feel however I want to feel. Whoa. Did I really just say that? I can feel embarrassed. <laughs> yes, you did. I think that's enough vulnerability for one day. I'll see you around. That was really cute. I really felt it in the heart. I feel like crying about it. Thank you. I'm gonna build more money before I can go ahead and go tea times with other people. All right, Mercedes, done with that. Uh, uncanny blow. Union Nation combat grant. Tit. Ooh, that is really great. That I'm gonna be using um the bow. Anyways, speaking of supports, we uh think we got one. None from. Actually, yeah, just one from Gilbert. No Gilbert. Yuri and Happy. So Happy, are you going back home or what? That came out of nowhere. Haven't you noticed there's a war going on? I can't leave now. Hmm, hadn't noticed. Nope. Now that I have, will you head home once it's over? To check on your parents? No. Even after the war, I can't return. With my curse, I might destroy the whole village. I won't put them at risk like that. True. I want to say you could go there and everything would be dandy. The way things tend to shake out, though, it can be pretty hard not to sigh. What about you? You don't mind spending all this time away from wherever you call home? Can't say I've spent much time thinking about it. Maybe after the war is over. I've got plenty to keep me occupied. If I drop things and head home, my people will lose respect for me. I can't have that. I see. I know I should visit home at some point. It's been more than a decade since I left, though. They probably think I died. They might. All the more reason for you to go back. I know you're scared. But if you keep your visit brief, it'll work out fine. I don't know about yours. But my mother would want to know that I'm okay. I suppose I could stop by for a short visit. That might be nice. Still worried? I can accompany you. I'm sure you'll find some use for me. Huh? You know you'll be so caught up in my lively conversations, you'll have very little time for sighing. Hmm. That plan could backfire. I might find the conversation boring, and then... That would never happen. I wouldn't allow for it. And on the off chance a beast does appear... Well, that'll clear up your boredom pretty quickly, won't it? You've got a weird sense of humor, Yuri Bird. I like that. I guess I wouldn't feel so nervous about going home if you went with me. I might even have a good time. When you're there, you feel closer to the stars. They look so clear and bright. I'd love to show you. <laughs> I look forward to it. I bet we'll even see some of the stars you taught me about. I guess I wouldn't feel so nervous about going when you're there. I guess I wouldn't feel so when you're there. It, it feels like there's different audios between the two. I'm sorry for interrupting the support. It's just like I noticed like there's sometimes she's talking the she's talking a little bit farther from the mic and then at some point she's talking loudly. Like Closer to the mic or something. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I just had to confirm it. And maybe I'll finally lay eyes on that constellation you told me about. A fishing rod, was it? Oh, boo. Okay, well, um... Let's go ahead and start the exploration. 
You know the one thing I like doing about this whole exploration is see what the abyss is up to. Hey you, listen up. I've got something to report. Lots of things happen down here. Lots of reports need to be reported. And for all reportable things, I'm your guy. Thank you. But you should have just reported me with something. <laughs> Bandits from Garrick Mock used to come down to Abyss pretty frequently. We never dealt with them, though. We refused their offers at every turn. Sometimes we had to use force. It was happy who finally drove them out for good. Only then there were beasts all over the place. When the monastery fell to ruin, we lost all hope for support from the church. Most able-bodied folks abandoned Abyss for the surface around that time. Since then, we've been barely scraping by. So you intend to march into ALL? Frankly, I want no part of it. Surely such an uneventful journey won't require my presence. I need you with us. You will? Then I shall don my marching boots. Though I would ask that we at least consider marching only under cover of night. <laughs> I can imagine how um, the press constant would no. be like during the heat of things. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> the Valley of Torment, huh? I see your angle, but don't let your guard down. Any movement about their borders, and the Lords of the Kingdom will react swiftly. Don't underestimate them. Keep your focus on a positive outcome. There's a lot to gain and a lot to lose. The Valley of Torment. Isn't that the place where it's scorching hot year round? You know, I've always wanted to see the world. That's why I left my village. And here I am, traveling to all these interesting new places to kill people. Not what I had in mind. Maybe I'll find some time to admire the scenery. Though people might get mad I'm not taking this silly war seriously. Whoops. That was close. Almost sighed. Oh, don't worry. I'm not mad at you. I wonder how many soldiers that Rodrigue guy will lend us. Not that it matters much. Taking on the whole damn empire? Not even I would bet on those odds. Uh, even a small chance is worth fighting for. Now you're talking, pal. I love a nice reckless gamble. Ooh, now I'm excited. You know? Win or lose, I guess it's not worth betting on. Who would I collect from after the war's over? <laughs> I am stealing myself to see my father again. I can't stand that old man. You really hate him? Yes, I do. Above all, I hate the crazed nonsense that comes out of his mouth. Ah, <sighs> boy. He's still your father, although he will not listen to them, would he? If we can take back the kingdom, we'll recover our soldiers. And some food and supplies too, I bet. Most importantly of all, there are people in the kingdom waiting for our help. Even his highness understands that, I'm sure of it. Yet, he wants to take on the empire despite all that. Do you think he just doesn't care about anything other than fighting Edelgard anymore? Aw, oh, but that's not true. But if not, then why? Fudge, I sure say you may be right. Trying to be a little bit helpful there. By the way, the Kingdom Capital or the Imperial Capital? I don't know which is the right way. If we tried to take on the Empire like this, would we really stand a chance? With House Fraldarius under attack, they probably can't spare many soldiers. On the other hand, if we did manage to take the Imperial Capital, the war would be over. Hmm. I'm no good at thinking through this kind of complicated stuff. AOL, the Valley of Torment. Oh man, I really do not want to go there. Why not? That place is crazy hot. For guys like me, who grew up somewhere cold, man, it's gonna be rough. Though, I guess that climate will keep our enemies at bay. We're also gonna have to change your clothes, because... I noticed that the Kingdom Warriors, oh, you know that actually sounds like a cool name for these guys, the Kingdom Warriors. There you go, I shall call the Blue Lions who are now participating in this battle, the Kingdom Warriors. Um, that's besides the point. Uh, I have noticed that the Kingdom Warriors are wearing a, some sort of furs around their 
wherever they're wearing. So basically, they're coming from somewhere that's super cold. So the kingdom doesn't seem to have clear goals holding them together. Different people have different priorities. The situation right now is difficult, but at times like this, you have the opportunity to really shine, eh, Professor? You're in charge. Show them what you're made of. I'll do what I can to help. This is all a bit troubling, isn't it? The people from the kingdom seem to be of two minds as well. Can we really plan to fight when we're this unsure of ourselves? Maybe fine will actually help? You think once we're face to face with the enemy, it might help us band together? I hope so. I don't know about everyone else, but heading to the Empire seems like a good idea to me. The search for Lady Rhea will be so much easier if we can just get the Empire out of the way. I suppose Dimitri might still pose a problem, though. He seems so fixated on the Imperial capital, but I get the feeling he's not even sure what he wants anymore. Oh, come on, Mercedes. All he wants is the head of Mercedes. The head of Edigard. What was I going to say? I heard we're headed to the Valley of Torment. I'm not exactly thrilled. That place is supposed to be really, really hot. Just the thought of it makes me uncomfortable. You don't like hot climates? I hate them. You get all sweaty and sticky and ugh. Ugh. Who names a place Valley of Torment? A more inviting name would have been nice. Valley of Endless Summer. Something like that. The Valley of Torment. <laughs> that sounds a little bit mean. The Valley of Endless Summer. It does have good ring to it. These past five years, Lord Roderick worried for his highness more than any other. But I wonder what he would say if he saw what has become of Dimitri. Okay, and now his quest is Xanadol fruit and dried vegetables. I swear it was tomatoes and onions. Tomatoes and onions. Thank you very Take it. much. It is imperative that we regroup with those who continue to resist. Most importantly, we must join up with the Fraldarius family. If we do, our ability to reclaim the kingdom capital is ensured. We should aim for this outcome rather than focusing our efforts on the Imperial capital. This seems to me the best strategy at present. But I feel what His Highness feels. His hatred, his anger, so keenly, as if it were my own. So I find it difficult to oppose his wishes. Yeah, but I still say his best strategy. Wait for the perfect moment. Hey, Dimitri. Do you feel better? You wanna talk? Go away. Go away. Go, 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 go away. Okay, fine, you big meanie. How you doing, buddy? We weren't related by blood, but Randolph was still my uncle. Seeing him end up that way was... Never mind. It's nothing. I'm so sorry? It's fine. I don't need your sympathy. It's not like I had any real connection with him anyway. But Dimitri's methods... I don't know. <sighs> I'm sure he never trusted me, being born in the Empire and all. Oh, that's true. We need to make sure that everybody that's from the Empire is safe from Dimitri. Oh my gosh, maybe recruiting him was not a good idea after all. Gilbert was a knight to the royal family of Fargus? What was a man like that doing in Garrig Mock, I wonder? Who knows? Whenever I tried to ask about it, he'd change the subject and avoid giving a proper answer. Strategically speaking, our best move is probably to head for the Kingdom Capital. Though, I think it's more likely that Lady Rhea is in the Empire, so I would not object to taking the fight directly to Edelgard. Hmm, there are no right or wrong answers in war. What do you think we should do? I hope with the Goddess's guidance, we can make the right choice. I hope so. Anyways, I... Well, I know what she's gonna say. I know what they're gonna say. Um, I think we're good to go. Um, I'll see you in the mission day. Seventh, do you have a moment? Certainly. Have you arrived at a decision about what you would like your future to be? I think so. 
I was hoping I might ask for your opinion on the subject. I am flattered. Please proceed. I want to serve as a knight and protect my homeland. I know this through and through. It has been my truth for as long as I can remember. However, I feel I should choose a path that would benefit my father. I was raised by him in a happy home, never wanting for anything, despite my family's meager finances. <laughs> I owe it to him to choose a path he'd approve of. If that is the decision you have reached after such careful deliberation, then I have no objections. But may I ask you something? Please, go ahead. Have you actually had a conversation with your father about this? I have not. There hasn't been time to pay him a visit. He did permit me to join this war. But I was brash about my departure. I... I left forcibly. In that case, it is all the more important that you speak to him. Perhaps. My father is an obstinate man. At this point, I'm not sure he'd care to hear what I have to say. I do not know the man well, so perhaps it is not my place to judge. However, I do know what it's like to fret constantly over one's family. If he is as doting a father as you say, then he will want to know how you truly feel. I do not think he will refuse your wishes if you share them with him honestly. Of course, if your decision remains the same after speaking with him, then so be it. Said it. Thank you. You're right. I should talk to him. I've spent so much time thinking about how stubborn he is, that I've neglected to acknowledge my own part in all this. Rather than blaming him, I need to recognize how stubborn I myself have been. Maybe if I open up and allow for vulnerability, he will too. That is the way. Hold your head up high and stride forward into the unknown. I will. And I will keep your words close to my heart. Thank you for everything, Sedith. Your face looks stiff as ever, Gilbert. As I said before, I cannot change my nature. Understood. And I suppose seeing you train with an expression of glee would be rather unsettling. Still, you finished for the day, yes? Would you join me for tea and perhaps a chat? Professor Hanneman, May I ask a question first? Certainly. Ask away. I'll answer whatever is within my power to do so. Why concern yourself with me? I have no crests. I'm of no particular use to you. Whatever are you talking about? I don't speak to you out of some ulterior motive. Certainly, I have previously approached others because of my research interests, that is not the case here. I merely wish to get to know you. You wish to know me? Yes. It is not often I have the opportunity to find friends my own age, you see. Well, regardless of how you feel, speaking for myself, I already consider you something of a friend. You must have heard of my tenacity. It will prove easier if you accept my offer of friendship now. <laughs> Was that a laugh? A rarity for you, Gilbert. Can I take that to mean we are friends indeed? I see no reason not to be so. Well, I am honored. Then, as a first step, I would like it if we could find a common interest. A hobby to engage in something the younger folk would not appreciate and may even be irritated by. <laughs> I look forward to it. <laughs> Another laugh. I must say, we make a better duo than I first expected. Praying, Father? Yes. Praying is all I can do. For I am at fault for each death upon the cursed plain of Dusker. You keep saying it's your fault, Father, but you're wrong. His Highness doesn't blame you. Neither does King Lambert, I'm sure of it. But I guess that's not the issue for you, is it? It was my duty to protect the royal family. I should have given my life to protect the King, even if His Highness has forgiven me. 
My knightly vows are still broken. My knighthood is lost. That's obvious from looking at you, father. I think mother understood it as well. But before fleeing the country, I wish you had thought about your family. If only for a moment. Even if the whole world had condemned you. We would always have been your allies. I am sorry, Annette. No, I told you before. I don't particularly want you to apologize. Annette. Yes, father? Take this. A bundle of letters? There are so many. Look inside and you will understand. Should the contents make you sad, please burn them. Father! Oh, for the love of... He's done it again! But what have we here? <laughs> Just as I thought. Letters for me and mother. And so many. But why? And how? <sighs> I suppose I'll have to read them if I hope to find my answers. How goes it, Gilbert? Sir Alois, have you also come to fish? If I am in your way, you need but say so. Oh, no, no, I was passing by. Please, carry on. Hold on. You haven't caught a single fish yet. Are you feeling unwell? No, it is nothing of the sort. I am not here to catch a fish today. So you're fishing, but not in hopes of catching a fish. How unusual. Oh, I see. You're a vegetarian. No. I am using this time to examine my past deeds. When I am fishing, the world fades, and I am left alone with myself. Hmm. That is... uh... Perhaps the correct way to fish is the way you do, Alois. Simply for the pleasure. I deeply regret I am unable to be the angling companion you desire. Ah. No need, Gilbert. A thought occurs to me. And what might that be? It was Captain Gerald who first taught me how to fish. We had spare time between missions, and he said it was the perfect hobby. Is that so? He was always looking out on the water as though lost in thought. Perhaps he wasn't fishing to catch fish either. Perhaps he was facing something within himself, silently struggling with his thoughts and hiding the struggle from me and everyone else. We cannot know the minds of the departed. Therefore, we wrestle with their ghosts. Yes, that's true. Very well. I will join you today after all. Please teach me this art of fishing without fishing. I think it would do me some good to gaze on the water and think fondly about my old mentor. Of course, it would be my pleasure. All right, and we're back. And it's time for mission day. Ambush at Elil. Your party traveled to Elil, the valley, the valley of torment, to meet up with allied troops and secure reinforcement. It should have been a safe march, but that gatekeeper. Spied and told his the enemy. Having received the Kingdom Army's plea for aid, Rodrigue has agreed to provide soldiers. In order to meet up with their reinforcements, the Kingdom Army sets out for Elel, the Valley of Torment. This valley isn't a place I'd care to return to. After the chilliness of Fargus, I can't seem to adjust to this extreme heat. I forgot to change their clothes to something that fits this heat. Whatever. Historically, there have been battles whose outcomes were determined in part by the climate. You can't argue that this heat isn't a factor. In conditions like these, who knows what will become of our morale. 
Professor, be honest. How are you holding up? I never imagined it would be like this. Monks once used this area as an ascetic training ground because of the intense environment. They say Alel was born of the goddess's rage. I haven't heard that before. If you believe the legends, this valley is evidence of the goddess's judgment, passed on humanity for its corruption. The forest that once covered the surrounding area was burnt to ash by a pillar of light that descended from the heavens. That legend fueled belief in a place of torment between our world and the next, where one's sins are purified in the cleansing flames. Nonsense. Sins are not so easily washed away. Indeed, and there are no accounts of such a place in scripture. Yet those who cannot face their own sins have no choice but to cling to the idea. Uh, I just don't think I can take this heat anymore. I think I'm starting to see things. Near those mountains over there. Is it just me? Or is there a group of people gathered there? No. It would seem you are not hallucinating after all. Are those Rod Rieg soldiers? No. But their banner is that of... <gasps> no! It can't be. That is House Rose banner. They curried favor with that witch and sold out Fargus. Uh-oh. We messed up. There must have been a spy among us. Destroy the gatekeeper! them in battle? Or wait for Rodrigue to arrive. There is only one option. How kind of them to save us the trouble of killing them later. Oh, he sounds... he's happy. He sold out Kino, right? I will not repeat myself. That banner belongs to the Grey Lion. It's a waste of breath to exchange words with one such as him. His Highness is correct. He is not an opponent whom we can expect to negotiate with. Everyone! Prepare for the attack! Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. We need to dress correctly for this battle. Perfect! See? They're in the gym clothes. Now they're comfortable and they will not uh, get in, like burn from the heat. <laughs> Uh, Gunwall. Alright, Gunwall. You asked for the might of the Blue Lions or the Kingdom Soldiers. Did I King caught in the Kingdom Soldiers? I think I caught in the Kingdom Soldiers. Oh, I wanted to take flame with me. But unfortunately, I can't. Because I know that Yuri has some history with the Kingdom. Okay, let's check it out. We got some knights around here, this area. We do have a couple knights there, but we don't have to worry about that. So, I will put a net here. Sylvine's gonna be here. Um, Mercedes gonna oh, be here. I think we're set. All right, so. Got a couple of knights here, knights, knights. But we do have some archer. We got churches here. Gwendel is his name mode. We need to defeat another church. We're gonna have Ash go here and then he'll go over here and grab this. Alright, we are set and let's uh, do this. Defeat the enemy commander! Link or Dimitri falls in battle. The Valley of Torment. Perhaps a good place to finish off my life as a knight. Only if that puny force of children is able to kill me, of course. That man who raises the lion's flag? Lord Gwendol. He is an elder knight who serves House Rome. Gwendol would, without thought, fight any battle if ordered. There is no chance of negotiating with him. Clear face! Aelel is a deadly place. Flames burst from the ground with no warning. Sane people usually avoid it. So the flames of torment burn your sins, your life, your everything. If you wish to spare yourself the goddess's wrath, tread lightly. 
Let me drag these guys. Here. I'd be honored. Let me sneak you here. I don't think these knives are gonna come after me, so uh, let's make sure you're not wearing a freaking. My orders? Whatever you call that. Hammer! You're not wearing a freaking hammer. You need to make sure you're wearing the right thing, too. Okay, I think we're set. Go! Okay, uh, let's get this over with. Ash, no, come on, Ash. Get the treasure. Bolt to next! That reminds me, I need to give Bolt Axe to um, Happy. Killer bow. Ooh, check it out, Sunder. With a 70% chance of hitting, I mean critting, already 90%, 41, I think we're due for an overkill. Eventually I too will fall. Yes. Yes. Yeah, this fills me with joy. I'm thinking if you guys are going to attack me, let's switch on to Thunder. You know one thing I do miss from the older games is the ability to carry. Like if you're on a horseback or have a Pegasus, you could actually um, have um, horseback to carry another unit that's feed the Depending if your weight is higher than the other one, and then you can just take them to cross them and then drop them off. I digress, but yeah, that would be great. They go all going after Felix. What do? God damn it. How is it that you got 58% chance of hitting? That's more than letting you crit. 58 chance. That's more than a half. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna accept this. I'll comply. We are gonna sunder this. Alright. How oh, I'm dead. What? Seventy three. And you couldn't even what? I'm in odd. I'm in literally. I'm odd. Oh, you know. You know who has a ban? I must steal the people in in those general knights costume. You know how much it must burn inside there. I'll comply. Like it really, really burns. I'll destroy you. Oh, finally hits. See you in the eternal flames. You will suffer death. Oh wait. I could learn from that. Yes, you could. Learn from the monster. I'll cut through. Yeah, no. You know, he should have just wore put his sword on. Oh well. None of them can hurt them anyways. Um Yeah, Mercedes can do stuff. We need to get those archer distracted. Okay, one archer is good enough. What's the plan? 
<laughs> All that damage, and I just healed everything back. Crush the huddle. Crush the head, as I said. It had to be done. Oh my gosh, she's almost done. I just need to get into four more battles. Which reminds me, I should have just got her arrowed. I was just stronger. Or instead of just getting hurt, I could always have a net heal. Because she does have healing spells. One day the war will be over. Alright, I feel like I wanna have you go here. You follow by. Actually, before you do that, I'll cut through. I'm in. There we go. Doron! Oh my gosh, I love it that Doron went double critical. And I don't have to like waste All right. Next. Uh too many Dorons. I've really made this my own. You I need to get rid of. It's funny that he looks like he's on land, but he's actually on the lava. <laughs> She's coming this way. Don't I disposed of doubt long ago. Level forty one. With each kill, more monstrous. Hey, hey. So Cornelia has planted spies even inside Gerard Mach. The shield of Fargus has appeared. We can expect more out of him than the young ones. Link, Dimitri, or Rodrigue falls in battle. Ow. I think he might want to go the other way now. Hey buddy! Have Bolt Axe? Let's go for it. <laughs> Does a whelp like you really expect to kill me? I am Gwendol, the Grey Lion. A knight by the hand of Count Roe. Do your worst! Ah, I was expecting some sort of hope from Ash. Ah, I like his face. He's like, oh, I'm kind of hungry to hurt. You know what? I'll take back my action. Let's see if sword can help dent the armor. I'd be honored. I have to take this guy out. Here. You know we suck for Ash if, he, if his Raven just gets shot down. At your service. Yeah, let's leave him. Wasted effort. Shut up. You're at least I healed. Know. 
Oh, he's coming down it here. Comes down to this. I was hoping he would go after one three. Not me. want to get the treasure. World will just try and grab it for me. All tax! Yeah. Oh. Can't afford to lose. I think the the great part about having both tax is the fact that I could attack from far away instead of just, <laughs> you know. Let's see if I move away from here. What's my strategy? Would you go the other way? Just our curiosity. Oh, you don't want to speak with daddy. I think. You or me, Gilbert and me, can talk to. Damn. Don't place my hopes up too high. Hey, he's going up there now. Rodrigue, no! You're not supposed to go attack all these guys. Let me handle it. Hug them like beasts! Okay, oh, no, oh, stove. Oh. I'll be using that gambit, huh? How am I supposed to send you here to save people? Now's my chance! <laughs> Does a I... Yo! On my family's honor! Yeah, but you won't be able to kill him. Because <laughs> from what I heard. NPC cannot kill folks or something. However, you're gonna be dead. So you know what you know what tears I'm gonna do. I am gonna go ahead and grab this. Silver Shield! Behold, Crusher! And nobody's fool. That's gonna be a bummer. You don't want shit done. My orders. What I should have done is give him the novice gem. Wait. What's the plan? Go here. Trade. Give you that. Awesome sauce. What's my strategy? Now. Crusha! What's next? Perfect. Now she mastered the Kyrian. I earned this. Who? now you can move on to another class. <laughs> now, do you have anything to say to him? Yeah, of course I'm going to be using the one that... The lowest one, my lowest um, hits, just in case if I, just in case, it's just in case I can get, get Dimitri or something like that. What I'm trying to say is, like, if I miss twice, I'm not gonna be mad because I get to see Dimitri's talk with him if Dimitri has one. So, 
You've chosen to turn your blade against the gout. <laughs> Never thought I'd see the day. And yet you are seeing it, aren't you? Say what you will. I know your true feelings for me. Sure, you watched my back by order of the Count. But you care too. You were the only one who treated me as an evil. That is all in the past. This is no time for misplaced sentimentality. I must do what I came here to do. A dragon eagle. Okay. <laughs> That's what I wanted to see. Not a bad thing. I'll comply. But the man praised as a lion is degraded to a mere traitor's underling. A traitor's underling? That's upsetting, Your Highness. I am and always have been a knight of House Rome. How dare you? You are nothing but a lowly beast scavenging for scraps. You have forgotten the dignity of knighthood. I may be lowly, but this beast is devoted to his master. <laughs> then I had better kill the pet and deliver its head to that master. Blink. So I have found a place to die. Young ones, I thank you. Imagine it was Gilbert that kills him. I wonder if he'll say anything about that. Oh no, now he's melting through the lava core and now he's gone to ashes. It is the way of knights to follow their master's orders without argument. Lord Gwendal was a good man. Now he is just a corpse, nothing more. Let's go. Rodriguez is waiting for us. He's right there next to you! Stage Compito! Ambridge LL! The Michi was MVP! What's the point of motivating him if I cannot teach him anything or tutor him? It's been too long, Your Highness. But try to temper your joy, will you? This is a war after all. To say such a thing at a time like this... You have not changed one bit. Don't let looks deceive you. I've had a rough go of it ever since I crossed blades with those traitors in Ferdiad. When I heard you'd been executed, I rushed there as fast as I could, blind with fury. When I got there, I was fed some garbage about not being able to see your body. The next thing I knew, I was gripping my blade and... <sighs> Gilbert, you have done well to locate His Highness. I am truly grateful. And you, I have you to thank as well. Uh, thanks? Uh, we were all fortunate. Well, we are in your debt. I will repay you for this someday, I swear it. And you, Felix. You have also done well to bring His Highness here. Yeah. It's close enough. Tell us all you know, Rodrigue. I'm afraid there's not much to tell. You are aware that the western region of the kingdom was taken by the Empire, correct? Yes, so I have heard. They are now calling it the Fargus Dukedom or some nonsense. If you know that much, then the rest won't take long. Enemy or not, it's undeniable that Cornelia's plan was nothing short of genius. After seizing power, she invited the Imperial Army to Ferdiat. There she reorganized her troops and then sent soldiers to hunt me down. Because of that, we were forced to act defensively. And now we're being forced into a difficult battle. She's been controlling the situation all along. So that's been the witch's plan from the start. I should have killed her ages ago. Your Highness, Ferdiad is in a terrible state right now. The tyranny is unbearable, and so the rebellions are endless. Refugees starve to death in the streets. If I may speak freely, Your Highness, we should change course for Ferdiad and take down those traitors before we embark to Enbar. There's no time for that. We must annihilate Enbar before all else. Think no, he's happy about it. I understand wanting to destroy the Empire and the Emperor. I want that so much it hurts. But which is more important, the dead or the living? Silence! You will not speak, Mom. <clears throat> he's not evil evil, but let me try to... You will not speak to me like that, peasant. No, Dimitri. You will hear me out. Are you asking me? 
Asking the dead to forgive that woman? No, I would not ask that of you. What I am asking is that you allow us to prioritize the Kingdom Capital over the Imperial Capital for now. As Lambert's close and trusted friend, I am confident that he would have advised the same. Do not speak about my dad that way. You don't know my dad. Do not dare to put words in the mouths of the dead. There he goes. They are your words alone, even if you borrow their lips. Until I offer up that woman's head, father will remain a slave to his lingering regret and hatred. Even now he suffers. It is ceaseless. As we waste time with idle chatter, his suffering continues. <sighs> eh, he won't listen. You are my king. Our king. Wherever you lead, we will follow. But your highness, there are those who take up their sword in the name of revenge, and yet along the way, lose the strength and composure to follow through. You would do well to bear that in mind. Ah, I nearly forgot. Take this, your highness. The time has come for it to be wielded by its true master. Eritfar. The hero's relic once wielded by my father. There he goes. Say, I managed to steal it back from one of Cornelia's underlings in Ferdiat. Understated as ever, father. It must have been a true struggle to get it back. I... I am grateful, my friend. Gilbert, professor, may I request something of you? Can you get out of the heat first? I wish to fight at your side. Senile already, old man? Who will protect our territory? I expected it would come to this, so I left those matters to my younger brother. He has my complete faith. You have an uncle, Phoenix? I must keep my promise to our fallen king. To my dear friend. What promise? A very old one. I swore it nearly ten years ago. Now then, your highness, let's destroy the Empire together. My men and I will spare no effort. I pray that you are right, and that this will save the kingdom. Dimitri received Aaron Bar. Because I hear that moves so many times in Smash. The spear has been very useful for me, so let's get rid of the Brave Lance for now. Our orders are to capture Enbar by striking the enemy's stronghold directly. How familiar are you with the geography of Fodlin? Very familiar. Then you must be aware that the Kingdom and the Empire are separated by the impassable Ogma Mountains, right? Legend has it that Saint Seros once crossed over those mountains to fight against the fell King Nemesis. But don't fool yourself. Leading a large army over such steep mountains would be near impossible. In order to infiltrate the Empire, we have no choice but to go around the mountains, either to the east or to the west. Um, let's go east? Yes, I agree. The Alliance is currently split in two. Those who stand with the Empire and those who are against it. Leading the Imperial faction is House Gloucester, while House Regan leads those who oppose. We should take advantage of their internal conflict and proceed east along the mountains until we reach the Great Bridge of Murden in Alliance territory. Why dare? The Aramid River divides Alliance and Empire territory. There are many large bridges that cross it. However, the Great Bridge of Murden is by far the largest, and it is also closest to the monastery. I believe you crossed that bridge five years ago on your journey to the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. It's risky. I'm afraid we have no other option. This is our only hope. Perhaps our next move should be to contact House Regan and request their cooperation. You can tell that Dimitri is getting very darker and darker every day. You think they'll help? Claude of House Regan is the leader of the Alliance and is firmly against the Empire. They are the enemy of our enemy. In other words, hopefully, a friend. Are you suggesting that we ask House Regan to engage the Gloucester soldiers? I am. If we take the bridge, then House Gloucester will no longer be able to receive support from the Empire. 
There's no way a man as wise as Claude would refuse our request. And once we manage to capture the Great Bridge and gain a foothold into the Empire, then we cross Grander Field and head south toward Enbar. <laughs> He's so happy. But if we get attacked from both sides, we'll have to fight people from the Alliance, won't we? Of course, if we get blocked in by the Alliance, we'll have to fight our way out. That means you'll have to cross blades with your old schoolmates. If you do not wish to kill familiar faces, do not tarry over the corpses of the dead. <laughs> Good advice. Well, we got 98% of those familiar faces. We're still missing one more. Prepare yourselves. It is time to steal your souls for the task at hand. Alrighty then. Slowly but surely, Dimitri is losing his sanity. What left of his sanity left? He's still the mongrel beast he is. <laughs> uh, anyways, we shall see what happens next time. Until then, we shall see you guys. I shall see you guys later. Bye bye.